we gotta change our plastic. We have gold PLA right now, but uh, just regular black will do. Like our taillights, we got taillights with this thing, but we don't have the nuts that secure it, which go right here. They're little plastic pieces. Um, they're about this diameter, and they're about I don't know how much they're a piece, but they're more than I want to spend, <laughs> which is nothing. So we're gonna make some. So first, uh, we decided on what size nut we're going to use. We're going to use a three-quarter nut uh, for the exterior to attach them and we need to know the diameter of the internals we need to make which the minor, uh, yeah, minor diameter is 215 if, uh, can you see that? Yeah. It's about 200 which that's uh, that's actually pretty close to um, quarter 20 this core 20 uses a 200 drill, I think a 200 drill, or 201, something around there. Now, let's look at our major. Uh, we'll go over a couple threads, get the high points. Yeah, it's about a quarter, so about a quarter 20, except that is not, I don't think that's 20 thread. Shouldn't be. Let's get a core 20. Let's just uh, try to thread it on there. I really doubt a quarter 20 is gonna fit on there. What are our handy nuts? I really need more of these. These are really handy. Those containers? Oh yeah. Except I'm gonna be filling like three drawers full of them. I might have to get rid of uh, stuff in there and just put like nuts and bolts in there. Yeah. Where'd you get them? Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. Uh, let's see. Plus, uh, I need to label them. But I had more uh, bags of nuts than I did <laughs> places to put them. Yeah. If they were just like one size bigger, they'd be perfect. I think. Use my icrometers here. I think this is three eighths. I think this is quarter twenty. Uh, you can check just by doing that, and that should be. Um, just above the thread fastener minor diameter just so there's a little bit of play which it doesn't look oh no yeah just yeah these ain't gonna fit that's gonna be a press fit yeah, that's way too big that'll just slide right on Get this quarter 20 also My, my brain isn't working right now. Yeah, that's gonna be a press fit. See if the minor diameter of the thread fastener is a bigger than the um, the nut minor diameter internal thread. It just won't work. It'll bind. It'll bind. But just to humor myself, we're gonna try it. Yep. It's just a little bit too big. It would probably work um, if you just took a drill and zipped it out. It would probably slide right. Uh, it might thread right on, except these threads, they look a little bit longer than 20. Uh, let's see. One way I check is like uh, measure like half an inch, count how many threads, and then double it, and that's your thread pitch, like a core 20. This would be like a quarter whatever. Which, that's probably why they use plastic. They don't even have to be that accurate. So, we know what we want. We want, uh... I don't think I'm gonna put uh, the threads in the 3D print. I think I'm just gonna let it go on. We're gonna make it a uh, minor diameter internal... internal, um... 215? And that should just press it right on. 
So we'll make it 215 on the internal. Stay right there. I'll be right back. And the diameter out here, uh, make it one and a quarter. And then we'll have a three quarter nut on top so we can twist it on. I don't think I'm, oh, stupid piece of crap. We're gonna have to glue this thing on there. What's that right there for now? It might not even fit on because I got this wiring harness in the way. <laughs> stupid idiot. Down. So this is a little on easier if I get the lights on. See it'll go on right there. Uh, we'll put the night on there, tighten them down. Uh, just to double check, we'll just see the outline, a little dust outline. Uh, it's about one inch. Maybe we'll make it one inch instead. Yeah, we'll do that. 215, one inch. You just flip that close? Yeah, <laughs> an accident. Yeah, that's fine. One inch, uh, 215, and uh, three quarter nine on top. All right, let's make them. Okay, here we are making our nuts for our tail lights. I'm gonna make these very, very easy. And not to scale. See where I have our hole right here? It's gonna be uh, 0.215. Then around that. Sorry if I'm a little nasally, but I'm a little sick right now. And then we're gonna draw a horrible nut that goes around it. That's gonna be for a three quarter socket. Double check what the standard is on that. Which is, oh, cancel that. We are not using a three quarter socket. We are gonna use, let's see, a half inch socket, which is, That's how you draw a nut, isn't it? Not like this, like this. Which is... 0.75 from flat to flat. These are the worst blueprints ever, just to let you know. <clears throat> Don't draw them like this. So, we'll use it for half inch socket, and let's get drawing it. And we're gonna use a one inch base. So I'm using Autodesk 123 uh, D. Uh oh, with the top. Nope, now I screwed it up. Hopefully, you guys can see this because I'm using the camera to film the screen instead of just uh, screen capturing like a normal person. There we go. We're gonna make sure our grid is in inches because we're American. Uh, 12 by 12 grid, even though my printing is only uh, 7 by 7, I believe. I'd have to double check. But let's see if they have any uh, pre. Actually, I don't know if Ordus has pre made. I'm not very good. At using Autodesk yet. Let's see what we got here. Um, featured, popular. It already has these pre made things in it. Mm, I'm not seeing what I want. I know. Let's see, I think. Nope, I'm not going to find any. Let's just make one. Uh, 
All right, select prism. Radius. Oh, 0.375 or uh, three quarter of an inch. We want uh, one and a quarter with six sides. There we go. That looks lots better. Now we'll take the hemisphere, go right on center. We're going to raise a 0.5. Enter. Select that. We're going to move it. Well, what the what the heck? There's 1.25. Ah, oh, yes, son of a dirty rotten. We're gonna select that one. Minus 1.25. It'll be on the bottom, and that looks good. Let's go back on top. No, we're gonna select a cylinder. Put it right in the middle. Do I want half a point two one five, which is point one oh seven, which will give us something close enough. And let's make it three inches. Oh there it is. Now let's move this right there. And uh, let's see, we're going to combine these two, uh, subtract, merge, we're going to subtract, I think this one, and then we select that, there we go, oh, did that go all the way through, I, uh, what the, oh, Back up there. We want to merge these two first. So we'll go merge. Uh, we want our prism, the hemisphere, hit enter. Now that is one solid piece. So I'll go subtract, select the one solid piece, the center. Shabam! We have a nut here. It's a little tall. Um, Uh, one and a quarter. Mm. Maybe we should just make it one inch. So, uh, we're going to do this the dirty way. Going to uh, make a box right here. Oh. Yeah, we'll just uh, smart scale a little bit. We want pretty big. Yeah, that works. Now we're gonna move. So I'll make this will make the nut one inch. This is just a quick and dirty, dirty way. We want our solid. Take this, enter. We just lopped off a quarter inch right there. <clears throat> and uh, we'll export this as an STL so we can print it. Um, make it fine. Uh, we'll go into my 3D prints. We'll save it as tail white. Oh. Tail white. Not. Alright, there we go. Alright, here we go. We're on uh, Kura. Kura is just a slicing program. Uh, if you do any 3D printing, you'll probably hear a lot about it. This is the mono price uh, edition. It came with the printer. Uh, it's pretty simple to use. We're going to load. Let's see, tail light nut Camaro. Open it up. There it is. Uh, it's gonna take two hours. Um, I have the bed set at 70, print temperature 195, uh, speed 50, 
Now we're just gonna fill it in 20%. Uh, I'm thinking, mm, yeah, we'll we'll just do that. Uh, I have it set on brim. I'm pretty gonna glass, so it'll be no problem. Don't need any support material, cause look at the thing. It's no problem. Uh, we'll send it to the SD card. Uh, it'll be tail light nut Camaro dot G code. And uh, let's go print it. Hatchbox uh, Black PLA. You can get this stuff on Amazon. I can leave a link in the description. Uh, I think I like Hatchbox more than like the other stuff I've been using. Which uh, sometimes the other stuff it broke and then it just ruins my print. This stuff hasn't broke on me. Like it seems like the other stuff dry out and break. What I thought. Where's the end? Here's the end. Let's load this up right here. Oh, I had it. There we go. There we go. Set this camera up. You. Still recording? Yep. Hope you guys like uh, our tripod for our uh, 3D printing cam. Can you see it? Oh. There it is. There it is, 3D printed plastic tail light nut.